Good morning and welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living Morning Meditation. My name is Jim Saul. I'm a practitioner here at the Center and I will be leading the meditation. So let's get settled. Begin to be aware of your breathing. I recommend that you close your eyes and just breathe. Begin to deeply listen. You might hear the sound of the air conditioner, the sound of movement in the room. And one of the mistakes that many early meditators make is they try to shut everything out not listen, kind of suck inside. And the way I like to meditate is just the opposite. To open yourself up, be almost hyper-conscious of sounds, movements, body tensions, but just be aware. Relax any of those body tensions and just breathe. and listen. And feel. Sometimes we can get into a deeper, healthier level of mind if we just Relax our eyelids, our shoulders, our neck. And then listen deeply to the quiet. and breathe. Conscious breathing is one of the most sought after experiences within meditation. Just being aware of your breath. There are two types of distractions. One is the mental dialogue, the thinking in your head. And the other is visual, imagining things in your mind. The 
If either of these occur, just let them go. Don't prolong them and don't try to stop them. In most of Eastern thought and meditation, they talk about being the observer, the observer of the mental dialogue or the visualizations in your head, the observer of physical sensations. And just breathe. And listen. And be aware of the quiet. Just beyond all the noise in my voice, there is a divinely intelligent quiet. Become aware of that. And breathe. This quiet has an enormous amount of healing available because we let go of worries and fears and frustrations. We let go of the need to try to control things. And we just be, be here, be aware. And breathe. When you're doing prayer work for yourself or others, if you meditate first, it gets you in the right mental space to speak wisely of your prayer. Sometimes when I'm doing prayer work, I envision the person who needs the prayer work and I envision them healing. Sometimes I place my hands on them and I give them healing energy. And in this quiet place, I also heal. I heal my worries and fears. Mm -hmm. 
hand I just breathed. The body relaxes. The mind stops. And the healing energy of the quiet permeates our body. And just breathe. Sometimes if I'm worried about something, especially like late at night when I can't sleep and something's bothering me, I try to envision the back of my eyelids, the blackness, and I count my breaths. Sometimes I make it up over a hundred, sometimes two. And if I should lose count because I think of something, I start over. So it's like a game, but it's a game in finding inner peace. And with practice, it can come easily. Answers to deep held questions can come when we're meditating. Sometimes I'll actually bring a question to this quiet time. I'll become quiet, ask the question, and then listen to the answer. This is a healing quiet. It's a beautifully, divinely intelligent quiet. It heals us, helps us to see clearly, helps us to find inner peace. So I encourage you this week to do this on your own and to explore it. It has a lot of depth, insight, and beauty. So I give thanks for this time together. I give thanks for this divinely inspired quiet. And I give thanks for this center for it has given me so much in the years that I have been here. I give thanks for each person here and I can release this meditation, this prayer easily and simply by saying, and so it is, thank you.